Hey there, it's Manny with Daddy Cool Records in St. Petersburg, Florida. And in this video, we're going to go over new releases for Friday, February 25th, 2022. There's a whole bunch of new releases and reissues, so let's jump right into it. First up, we have an album from Bakar with his album, Nobody's Home, and it is on white vinyl. Next up, we have a band called Caroline that is a self-titled debut album, and it is on Rough Trade Records. Dashboard Confessional have a new album out. We have it on CD, we have it on cassette, and we also have it on transparent blue vinyl. So much better. We have a new album from Jamil Dean, Primordial Waters. If you are a fan of Sun Ra, Alice Coltrane, Kamasi Washington, Comet is Coming, this might be an album for you. Deer Hoof are back with a new album called Actually You Can, and it is on green colored vinyl. We have an album from Early Eyes. We have it on CD as well as on vinyl. We have Fried Chicken and Evil Women. Two things I love from Vincent Neal Emerson. Lita Ford has a new album, Live and Deadly, and we have it on purple colored vinyl. J.W. Francis has a new album, Wander Kid, and it is on blue colored vinyl. Ghost Inside, Rise from the Ashes, live at the Shrine. We have it on CD, sale priced, as well as on this special edition foil covered album. Robert Glasper returns with Black Radio 3, hip hop, jazz, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and it is on CD and chartreuse colored vinyl. Okay. Recently released on CD, now we have the vinyl version of the latest from Kesha called High Road. It is a double LP on orange and red colored vinyl. Low Moon have a new album out and you can get it for the low price of $9.99 on CD. And we also have it on vinyl and it is a clear smoky colored vinyl. You think this is the last one, but it's not. Okay, next up we have an album from Lonely Guest. It is on white colored vinyl. It is a project spearheaded by Tricky. He's collaborating with all different musicians from the UK underground, and you can see their faces here on the album cover. Not a Tricky record. All right. Boop. The perfect EP from Mannequin Pussy. It is on yellow and black colored vinyl. Got to see them over the summer. They put on a hell of a live show. So this is probably gonna be a really good album here. Carson McCone has an album out called Still Life. We have it on compact disc as well as on vinyl. All right, who doesn't love moldy peaches? Adam Green, Kemya Dawson. This is the origin story, 1994 to 1999. Early tracks from Moldy Peaches. We have it on CD, we have it on cassette, and we also have it on vinyl. Next up, we have the latest from Mom Jeans with their album Sweet Tooth, and it is on pink colored vinyl. Next up, we have Movements live at Studio 4. It is a marble mint colored vinyl. Resentment is always seismic. That is the latest from Napalm Death. This is a companion piece to their last album. Clocks in about 30 minutes. Nice hardcore, grindcore tunes for your listening pleasure on red colored vinyl. Uh, regional band alert. Palomino Blonde, we have their latest on cassette as well as on LP. They're from South Florida and they will be playing Gramps very soon. Okay, last week we had this on CD. Now we have the vinyl, Pike versus the Automaton. This is Matt Pike from High on Fire and Sleep. Nice heavy tunes here on orchard colored vinyl. Pucifer, everybody went crazy about the announcement of the Tool Fear Inoculum box set, which we will not be getting, but we do have this week the Pucifer live at Arcosanti. This is on black and gold swirl colored vinyl. If you happen to see the Summer of Soul, then you know that Nina Simone puts on a hell of a show. And if you haven't seen Summer of Soul, do yourself a favor and find it and watch it. Here we have Nina Simone, the Montro years. She appeared at Montro five times between 1968 and 1990. This double LP set on turquoise and yellow colored vinyl features tracks from all those different shows. Who's next? All right. 
Sergil Simpson, The Ballad of Dude and Juanita. It is finally out on vinyl. It is a natural colored vinyl. You can see right here the picture of the record. It comes with a lithograph as well. We have a new album from Star Set. It is on Inferno Red Vinyl and it is called Horizons. Super Chunk return with a new album. It is entitled Wild Loneliness. We have it on CD as well as on vinyl, peak colored vinyl, green and yellow. Very interesting. It was a recorded one artist at a time, one musician at a time, and it features killer guest artists as well. So Super Chunk, you love them. I love them. Next up, we have the latest from Taking Meds. It is entitled Terrible News from Wonderful Men. It is on gold colored vinyl and it is on the Smart Punk label. Who's excited? This guy's excited. Tears for Fears have a new album out. We have it on compact disc, sale priced. We have it on cassette and we have it on vinyl. The vinyl is green and there should be a lithograph hiding inside there as well. Recently released on CD, we now have the vinyl, the latest from Voivod. It is on a transparent green colored vinyl. Volumes with their album Happier and it is on the Fearless label on sea glass colored vinyl. This one I am definitely intrigued by an album called Witch Camp. It has a, uh, a producer and a filmmaker who went and traveled to Ghana to find people who have been exiled for their alleged witchcraft practices and they recorded them playing music. So sounds really interesting. I've forgotten now who I used to be. That's the name of the record. So much information. Next up, we have the latest from Zeal and Ardor. It is a self-titled album that was recorded in the summer of 2021 in response to all of the protests and things that were going on in our world at the time. This is uh, things that we have on CD only. So let's blow through what we have here. The latest from Blood Incantation, Time Wave Zero. We are waiting on the record to come out. We just don't know when that would be. Gang of Youth, Angel in Real Time. We will see the vinyl on this March 18th. We have a pair of reissues from Chris Isaac. It's been a while since we've had some Chris Isaac. We have a Best Of as well as Heart Shaped World. Avril Lavigne is out, has a new album out called Love Sucks, S-U-X. No date on a vinyl just yet. The latest from Johnny Marr, Fever Dreams, parts one through four. We have it sale priced on CD and we should be seeing the vinyl sometime next week. Getting the reissue treatment is Palehead with their album Trait. Palehead is Al Jorgensen from Ministry and Ian McKay from Fugazi joining forces on this EP. Scorpion, Rock Believer, that is me. I am a believer in the rock. We have the latest from Scorpions on CD and we should see the vinyl sometime next week. Okay, so next up we have White Lies as I try not to fall apart. We have it on CD. It was previously released on LP. Seven inches and 10 inches. The latest from Devil Wears Prada on green colored vinyl. I have a seven inch from Dorothy, What's Coming to Me, backed with Rest in Peace. And then once again, Movements are back. Beer colored 10 inch, their debut EP from Movements. The week would not be complete without a bunch of reissues. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the eagerly anticipated reissue of Erica Badu's Worldwide Underground. It is on purple colored vinyl. Bring Me the Horizon have reissued their album Semp Eternal from 2013. Luke Bryan's Born Here, Live Here, Die Here is being reissued as a double LP on blue colored vinyl. You have the original album plus six new tracks. Christine and the Queens have reissued their debut album on black colored vinyl. Corrosion of Conformity's Deliverance, originally released in 1994, has been reissued on tangerine colored vinyl with three bonus tracks. It is limited to 1,000 copies. Some reissues from King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. This is live in Brussels from 2019. It is on orange, white, blue colored vinyl. And also from King Gizzard, we have 
Teenage Gizzard, and it is on a nice blue colored vinyl. Mom jeans are back. They have reissued Puppy Love, and it is on this fancy colored vinyl. Sinead O'Connor, so far the best of. This is a double LP on clear colored vinyl. Sun Records, in celebration of their 70th anniversary, are reissuing their, some of their catalog. This is Roy Orbison's original sound. It was originally released in 1969. Prince Daddy and the Hyena, I thought you didn't even like leaving. That is their 2016 debut. It has been reissued on fancy colored vinyl. Todd Rundgren's 2010 Johnson, his tribute to Robert Johnson, has been reissued on gold colored vinyl. 6 a.m., Nikki Six's side project. This is their album, Hits. It is on a translucent red with black smoke colored vinyl. And it is a double LP. All right, this is a Best of Slave, the band Slave, featuring Steve Arrington, Killer Killer Funk tunes on red colored vinyl. Everyone Who Pretended to Like Me is Gone. That is the album from The Walkman. It has been reissued. Speaking of The Walkman, they will have a record out, reissued on Record Store Day, their album Lisbon. And speaking of Record Store Day, here are some RSD essentials. Throughout the course of the year, there will be titles that are RSD essentials. They're not Record Store Day titles, but they are RSD essentials. So let's just get right into it with some reissues from the band Goblin. We have their album Zombie on white colored vinyl, as well as Susperia, also on white colored vinyl. An RSD essential these, in this soundtrack series here, we have Eno Morricone's The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Okay, and one last one from the RSD Essential series for this week. We have Halloween, their 40th anniversary edition of the movie soundtrack from John Carpenter and Alan Holdsworth is on orange and yellow galaxy colored vinyl. It has been reissued by Mondo Death Waltz and it has a alternative cover as well. All right, speaking of RSD, we have a survey on our website. You can go to the liner notes section of daddycool.com and you can find the survey. Let us know what albums you are interested in for Record Store Day. You can find the list of all the albums coming out on Record Store Day on the recordstoreday.com website. Uh, we will be opening that day at 8 a.m. Record Store Day titles are limit one per person. There is a limit of 10 RSD titles per person. Uh, we mix in the Record Store Day titles in the section. So if you're looking for the Stevie Nicks, that is gonna be with the Stevie Nicks stuff. You can also find a comprehensive list of all the records that we are putting out this week. So you can find the Use Day Tuesday Day list. Also find a section for sale priced items. Those are items that are the staff picks for the month, as well as each week we select five pre-orders to sale price. Lastly, please keep in mind that our vendor fair is March 19th. We're looking for people who want to sell their records, CDs, tapes, mus any music related items gear, anything of that nature. You can sign up for it on our website, daddycool.com. This weekend is Gasparilla Music Festival. So if you get a chance, uh, head on down. So uh, hopefully we will see you soon.